What's going on guys? Today we have a Schrade knife. This is the Water Rat Dive Knife. Alright guys, what's going on? Once again, uh, we have another knife for you. This is from Schrade. Nice little packaging, nothing to it, just the knife, little shit, warning and stuff written on the side. Whatever. Let's get into it. Here it is inside the box. No protection at all for the knife. Uh, no foam, no nothing. It is what it is. So we got the knife and the sheath in a plastic bag. We got two straps. So this can go around your waist. It can go around your arm. However you guys want to mount it. And then a couple of other mounting holes for the handle and sheet. Here is the little instructions and a little bit about the knife. So it shows you how to use the straps and all, well it tells you how to use the straps. So probably not going to be using that but anyway we got a dive knife here. So what is a dive knife? I'll show you guys. So basically no point. That's it. Um, obviously I'm not a diver I am way too buoyant to be a diver so uh, why did I buy this knife um, basically it looked interesting uh, it had a nice green handle it's super bright um, it's a 17 CR 17 MOV uh, high carbon stainless steel blade that speaks enough for itself it's got the logo here serrated edges a wire um, a rope cutter a line cutter whatever this part's a little serrated right here on the knife. So let's see if we can zoom in on that. And then we have the actual flat blade itself. So there's a flat blade on this side, flat blade up to here, serrated, so thicker serration, and the line cutter right there. Nice handle, it's 4.7 inches. The blade is 4.7 inches for a grand total of 9.4. This knife only weighs four ounces, which is absolutely fantastic. It's for a, a knife as big as this, almost 10 inches long, or nine and a half if you want to get technical, um, it is a very nice knife. The actual blade portion of it is sharp. Sharp enough to cut the line. Um, I cut some paracord and shit with it to test it out. I didn't take this out into the field with me. Um, I just did some basic cuts here, uh, some paper tests and stuff. It went through the paper with a little bit of struggling. It's no insanely sharp knife. Um, this knife is only $14. If you look on Amazon, it's like $14 to $20. Um, I purchased this from ChickyKnifeStore.com. Head over there if you guys want to buy it from him. Um, if not, they're all over all the other sites you could find it. So this is, the actual name of it is the Shrade Water Rat. Basically, I just thought it was a cool looking knife to add to my collection. I really have no use or function for something like this. Um, it's just going to be something to add to the collection. Let's go into the sheath. This is a Pripoline plastic or molded plastic, injection mold plastic with uh, a button to release the knife. It does lock in here. So it has on the knife itself, the little holes on both sides. So you can put the knife in either direction and it will lock in. Not the best locking feature. Uh, the knife is a little wiggly in there, but it does protect it nonetheless. And I do like the hard sheath that comes with it. Just the fact that it comes with it is great, especially for this price point. You'll pay probably double that just for a molded sheath for any knife that you want to purchase, let alone a fixed blade. Here's the strap handles on the top and the bottom. If you guys, again, want to mount it to your arm, mount it to your leg, whatever you want to do. Um, I will take this out eventually, maybe. Um, to go fishing, I'll probably strap it to my leg just to have a bigger fixed blade on me that I don't have to physically carry or waste pocket space for. So I do like that feature for that. Can I cut a fish? Maybe. Um, you know, can I get through bunker and various things like that to hook up for bait where the cut is not that important? Definitely can. It's not a fillet knife. You're not going to really get anything out like that. I watched some other reviewers on it trying to do like the feathering for the wood. You know, if you know, make the real fine uh, uh, wood shaving so you can start a fire and stuff like that. And it does work. It's not the greatest thing in the world. Again, if you're relying on this as a survival knife and you're only going to pay $14, I, 
I mean, guys, I think that speaks for itself. Um, you know, again, you get what you pay for. And, you know, again, just the fact that I thought this was a cool looking knife is the main reason why I purchased it. It's not going to serve me any form or function. I will not rely on this if, you know, there's a fucking end of the world type situation. No, it's not going to happen. Just a cool knife to add to the collection. Again, possibly we'll take it out here and there on occasion, but it is what it is. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this, uh, like I said, Amazon, chickyknifestore.com, whatever you choose to go to. And yeah, that's basically it for this knife. Uh, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you guys like our content, check out the other videos. Consider subscribing. We have new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Take care.